Hey there, this video is an introduction to Igor Pro. Igor Pro is a product of Wavemetrics. You can buy it at wavemetrics.com. Igor is a scientific data analysis software. You can read about it on Wikipedia. It's completely programmable with its own language, similar to C, Python. If you're familiar with any of those, you'll have no problem getting into, into Igor. It has a hybrid interface, meaning that you can do most things from the command line or by clicking menus in the graphical user interface. So it's good for programmers and non-programmers alike. It stores data in four, up to four-dimensional arrays called waves. Uh, and these are basically just regular old arrays, except that they can have metadata, dimension labels, um, unit labels, uh, that sort of thing. Igor is expandable through the use of XOPs, uh, these are basically C, C++ programs to expand the capabilities of Igor. So you can use it as a data acquisition software, or you can run a complex simulation that you've written in C and have the results spit back into Igor, uh, all sorts of things. You can make graphical user interfaces with Igor. So if you're making a workflow that you want others to use in the future, you can make a graphical user interface uh, that makes it very easy to share your software. You can even do FTP and HTTP communication with Igor. So if, if you have some sort of server that you are storing your data or uploading your data to, you can integrate it with Igor. That's about all I wanted to talk about for an introduction. So let's go ahead and open up an example Igor file. So let's go ahead and open up our Igor file. This is an experiment from my own work, and it contains some figures and data that I collected in the lab. So the experiment opens as I saved it last, uh, and that includes having a time series, a scatter plot, and the data browser front and center with all the other windows minimized down below. Window management is pretty important in Igor, so try to keep things tidy. Uh, otherwise, you will lose track of things, and it gets hairy very fast. So try to keep things organized. The time series here has two traces of different colors. We have a legend, some annotations, axes are labeled. Looks pretty good. Our scatter plot has a, a linear regression, slope, some annotations, and the axes are labeled as well. This, axi this axis is a little wonky, but that's not hard to fix. We have our data browser, which is where all of our data can be seen and organized. I am a bit surprised at how organized mine is actually, but I like it. So you can see I have some variables, waves, folders, subfolders, and you can keep things very organized in the, da in the data browser, so you should strive to. I think that about does it for this example file. Next, we'll open up a blank experiment and go from there. 